So yeah. Anyway, when I was uh, when I originally called, I had this whole diatribe all set up to to launch about this uh, about the Yuzu comments on the last uh, from the community on the last uh, from the last uh, episode, and then I realized I was about to launch into a diatribe about YouTube comments and kind of felt a little silly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, but the the thing that kind of set me off was just the, uh, I, I guess I'm new to, uh, atheist communities and, uh, Welcome. And, you know, one thing to watch videos and, and listen to you guys and, and callers, and then it's a different thing to be in chat rooms. And, uh, I guess, uh, I was a little shocked by the difference and I guess ultimately it was, I, I would have thought, uh, an atheist community would have responded better to the whole, uh, to the trans. Uh, pronoun uh, discussion, and it was it was shocking. Uh, yeah. So that was well, and also you just have a lot of trolls. You have a lot of people who uh, want attention, and that's yeah. they they feel like that's a great place where they can get attention, and so they just jump in and everybody reacts and so they do get the attention that they wanted um not only do you have a lot of kids who do that but you also have this really interesting dynamic that i think is important for us to recognize and that is um okay i know this is an experience Uh, josh i don't know you but i know that we've had this together are you ready for this when you were in middle school when you were in middle school when you were in high school you tried out ideas and some of them were really bad um, you, 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 you took a look at different worldviews, or you said, you know, I'm going to try and be the funny guy, or this is a true thing about the world, right? Uh, we all kind of have to experience and be wrong about things to learn and grow, right? And there right. are a lot of people who are still doing that, especially when they reach out uh, as new members of a community, you know, it's not different when you're joining an atheist community. You have people who are, yeah. hey, I have all of these preconceptions about a thing. I'm just going to spout them all out. And there are a whole lot of people who do look at the responses. There are a lot of people who do go into research and do grow. And maybe five years later, they're going to look back the same way you and I looked back at middle school and high school and go, oh, that's so cringy. Um, but, you know, yeah. the, the, the only way that we're going to give people the chance to grow is if we grow them, right? You do need to invest in other right. people. And even though some people can be shitty, most people, most people are empathetic. Most people yeah. understand and want to be <laughs> kind. And so, you know, yeah. you, you got to take the no, bad with the good, good on point. that. Yeah. Well, that's great. Uh, no, I, I appreciate that perspective. I didn't, I didn't think about that. I think, I think initially I was just blown away that, uh, you know, you could believe a, your morality was based on empathy and then act that way. But understanding that that's, uh, everyone's in a different place, that's, that's important. So I appreciate that. Mm. Um, the uh, other thing I told the call screener was this, uh, I love your guys' focus and a lot of the atheist community uh, and especially people like Matt Delaney and the, uh, your sister channel over there um, with uh, Tracy and all them. You've heard of them? The, you know, uh, they're getting big. Yeah. Um, and we like to help them out. Yeah. And then you should. People should check them out. And go, yeah. go support them. They need all the help they can get, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> mm. Here's the deal. Um, the uh, the idea, and, and it's been repeated oftentimes in this episode already, just that it's great to answer honestly and truthfully when the answer is, I don't know. Mm. Um, and I think it's fantastic, and it, it's been super helpful in my own life. But uh, at the same time in discussion, sometimes it feels uh, like it doesn't carry as much weight. And... Uh, you know, like if you're in a, a just in discussion about uh, just uh, okay, origin of the universe or something like that. You know, where we don't know the answer, nobody does. Mm-hmm. Um, but the uh, the whole uh, thing feels a little bit like if you were running for government and a politician. And, you know, you were just someone asks you, "What would you do for the economy?" And you say, "Well, I don't know, but we're going to look at the evidence, and if we find an answer, we'll tell you then." Uh, and the other person saying, I've got a plan, I've got, you know, you know, I've got an authority, and it, it's coming back at it 
with what feels like more weight, even though it's not true. Yeah. yeah. Um, Conviction sounds incredibly powerful. Yeah. Which is yeah. unfortunate because it's cheap. Uh huh. <laughs> and I just wondered if you guys had any thoughts or, or, or ways that maybe you feel like you can, uh, you know, advice in terms of adding meat to it because uh, I love it personally, but when in discussions, it just it, it, it feels like a conversation ender in, in some ways. Well, I think uh, it's interesting that in this call, we're going to um, add some, some fuel and rage to people about pronouns, but also we're going to bring back the vegans because we're adding meat to it. So I um, hate you so much. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? Uh, <laughs> yep. Where do you oh. get your morality? Your morals. From Bring my it all in, your morals. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 no, um, I would say <laughs> that it, it takes having the same conversation. I mean, if you're talking about ways of, of elevating uh, conversations about pronouns, it's one of those, it, it very much is, why, why does anyone need this conversation thing, mm. right? Like, I, I very much I understand from, you know, an intellectual and empathetic standpoint, right? Uh, people who uh, care very much and struggle to be called by the pronoun of their choosing. That would be frustrating as hell. It's not an experience that I have, so I can't say, oh, to, oh let me tell you about it, because I can't, because I don't have it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's one of those problems that's, like, the, the problem being that people are not okay with that. That's the stupidest yeah. thing to not be okay with. Why do you care? Yeah. It, why do you think it's your business, right? And it's very difficult to have conversations where it's like, Okay, no, there's very clearly an answer here, guys. And Let people live the way they want to live. <laughs> because the, Now the, can we get back to trying to stop the world from starving? But, like... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm... You know, if it's like, I want to have sex with you. You want to have sex with me. Now let's talk some business. You know, Eric then... Eric is single right different. now, so... <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you. No dish in a thinking. while, actually. Uh, it's been dry. Uh, <laughs> um, so, Josh. You can find um, him on Tinder. Really? Oh, God, please. Um, <laughs> hash, oh, hash, stop it. No. Hashtag no, we're right done. swipe we're done. Eric. We're done. We're done. Yeah. We're done. We're done. Okay. No, Josh. Uh, okay. What sorry, I, Josh. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, Josh. The cringe Josh. is so hard. The cringe is Josh, really hard. what yeah. I want to tell you is that in, you need to encourage, right? You were talking about encouraging I don't know and saying that it, it leads to an impasse. It doesn't have to. And in your life, you do have the chance to model and go, oh, wow, you know what you don't know? That's, that's awesome. You know, we should yeah. be positive mm -hmm. about it when, you, when somebody says that I don't know because that means let's learn together or I want to know the answer to that too. Let's check it out. You know, make it a call to action. Every time you hear I don't know, say, cool, let's learn. This is an opportunity. Every opportunity you get to learn more about the world around you should be embraced, shouldn't it? Oh, yeah. And so yeah. we've got to change that paradigm. We need to flip that dynamic on its head so that we can continue to do that and encourage that. I think that it will not take that much for that kind of thing to happen. It's not that hard. We're not asking to change the world when you hear somebody say, I don't know, to go, awesome. So let's do that. Let's do that together. Who knows? Maybe in 20 years, other people will be doing it too. But we got to start somewhere, and that can start mm -hmm. with us. I concur. That's good sentiment. I appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, we appreciate you. We've got lots of agreeable callers today. We do. It's really nice. It's like a big old group hug. Yeah. And we have a really awesome studio audience, too. I'm so happy. Yeah, to be here. this, you guys, <laughs> thebomb.com over Josh, here. Josh, is there anything else you wanted to talk to us about before we go? Thebomb.com slash talk heathen. Sense. No? All right. I think we're going to move on. We're going to move on. I, we have two did, more did callers Josh, and only a little Josh bit left. Did Josh hang up because of the number of cringy things I've said? Probably. Oh. I would have. <laughs>